Okay, so this is the official recap of where we've been so far. Mm -hmm. Where are we at the moment? We are at a Kathleen Springs, which is just uh, what maybe 15, 20 k away from Kings Canyon. Um, it's day six, and our trip plan was to go to drive to Uluru um, from the Gold Coast across the top side through Queensland and then the bottom side back out through South Australia and home. So we planned to be at Uluru yesterday. Yes. Uh, the day before, yesterday. And we planned to do maybe two or three days there. Um, we had a plan of having Kings Canyon, which is the second last stop, as being like a day as well. Uh, we were a day behind. We had spent two days in Alice Springs just because we were mucking about getting some other stuff. But uh, the plan so far, we went from the Gold Coast to Longreach Yes. Big drive. Then we went long reach to Camerwheel. Camerwheel yep. day two? Yep. yep. Then we went from Camerwheel to uh, Alice Springs, which is sort of the top side down through uh, Tennant Creek and Alice Springs. We stayed in Alice Springs for two nights. But we, went, we did the uh, yes, Red Centre yes. with the Allery Creek, Stanley, Chasm and Simpsons Gap. We ran out of time. We had we were, left at lunchtime. But also we had planned to go through Ellery's Creek Road to get to uh, Gorge. Kings Canyon the back way, if we want to call it that. But yeah. Unfortunately, they recommended that we would go. We have to have a four drive. And yeah. it's been raining and the wet, um, the roads are a little bit corrugated. So our car won't do that. So we decided we would Another come, night in Alice Springs. Come back into Alice Springs. Stay the night and then come down to Kings Canyon. Along the main night. highway, yeah. which is basically go back down towards, say, Uluru the front way. So what we then did was we went past the turn off to Uluru into Kings Canyon the front way. We stayed at Kings Canyon Resort last night. Which was amazing. It was Sp busy. Spoiler for anyone that's staying there. If they think that there's coverage these little places are designed for coverage when there's hardly anybody there so the coverage for telstra uh, the tower at kings canyon resort is actually set up for 50 people and there was about 800 people there last night so we didn't get any coverage at all which was fine uh, despite my best protests uh we were okay we're headed to uluru to oh, one thing we forgot to mention was this morning we took a helicopter flight yes it was beautiful so we took the half hour flight and that was the longest and it was very affordable i thought but they do have 15 minute options for 115 dollars which would be beautiful but we just went over the full gorge um and what did we do we did kathleen springs we went over the other side of the gorge down through the dry creek something we'll have to i might put the little note of it up on the screen uh, as you're watching this around the back to the highest point um, which I can't again remember the name we'll put the, the name Gillies? up here the Gillies or the Giles or something like that I'll, I'll put the name up uh, that was at 304 meters but apparently Uluru which I still don't think we've comprehended just how how tall it is is another 45 50 meters higher than that so then we came back we landed the helicopter no I didn't land the helicopter we got out we then came from there to here, which is Kathleen Springs. We just did this walk. Which t said 40 minutes and it took us half an hour. It was It was a lovely walk, really easy. You could actually even be in a wheelchair, I reckon. Yeah, it's dead it flat. Was, there's no there's no stairs. So beautiful. We did do the rim walk um, for Kings Canyon last, or yesterday afternoon. Um, there's two versions, but both versions, you're gonna need your knees. So, cause there's quite a lot of, like the, the, we did the big version, which is it's not up. It's kind of like a goat, a goat track straight up. Stairs. Lots of stairs. My legs are hurting. Not today. constant <laughs> stairs either. They're like just jutted out pieces of rock. Rock. And then across the other side and down. But there's even a uh, more manual version where um, you walk up and back. But that's still pretty full on. There was a lady with an injured ankle. Um, and they were kind of contemplating how they're going to get her down. She tried to walk. Let's hope that she Walked. got down okay. Yeah. Because if not, then they probably would have <laughs> had to chop her out, which wouldn't have been cool. Um, and then so. But other than that, it's it's quite nice once you get to the top. Um, beautiful scenery. Yeah, and most of the Don't places. Don't do it. The only thing, like, be aware of petrol. Petrol is, of course, more expensive uh, expensive out here. But most of the little spots, every I don't know here. 
80 to 100k have got them but just keep topping up each time so that's our kind of recap now today we're going to Uluru which should be uh, spectacular and um, from there we're going back home as I said via South Australia so we'll do another little post about that. We just spoke to some really lovely people from Melbourne traveling and they gave us some hints on at Uluru to do the free two-hour guided talk just for information it's 10 a.m. in a car park every day so we're definitely going to do that we're going to walk around 10 k's because we've been sitting in a car for six days we'll walk more than 10k we're going to do heaps yeah, of things it'll be really fun can't wait works. we're going to Uluru right so, now we're going to sign off uh like and subscribe to the channel yes. if uh, that's how you're watching otherwise stay tuned and we will have an Uluru version coming up very soon see ya Ciao.